Protecting your household against the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, starts with getting the right information. The intent of this course is to provide you with practical guidance from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, to help you get your household ready for community transmission of the disease in the United States. The CDC encourages household members to prepare for a COVID-19 outbreak in their community. By the end of this course, you will be able to identify actions you should take before an outbreak occurs in your community, identify actions you should execute during an outbreak, identify actions you should take after an outbreak occurs. A COVID-19 outbreak could last for a long time in your community. Creating a household plan can help protect your health and the health of those you care about in the event of an outbreak in your community. You should base the details of your household plan on the needs and daily routine of your household members. Talk with people who need to be included in your plan. Meet with household members, other relatives, and friends to discuss what to do if an outbreak occurs in your community and what the needs of each person will be. Plan ways to care for those who might be at greater risk for serious complications. There is limited information about who may be at risk for severe complications from COVID-19 illness. If you or your household members are at increased risk for COVID-19 complications, please consult with your health care provider for more information about monitoring your health for symptoms suggestive of COVID-19. Get to know your neighbors. Talk with your neighbors about emergency planning. If your neighborhood has a website or social media page, consider joining it to maintain access to neighbors, information, and resources. Create an emergency contact list. Ensure your household has a current list of emergency contacts for family, friends, neighbors, carpool drivers, healthcare providers, teachers, employers, the local public health department, and other community resources. Identify aid organizations in your community. Create a list of local organizations that you and your household can contact in the event you need access to information, healthcare services, support, and resources. Consider including organizations that provide mental health or counseling services, food, and other supplies. Practice everyday preventive actions now. Remind everyone in your household of the importance of practicing everyday preventive actions that can help prevent the spread of respiratory illnesses. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Stay home when you are sick, except to get medical care. Cover your coughs and sneezes with a tissue. Don't touch your face. Clean frequently touched surfaces and objects daily using a regular household detergent and water. If surfaces are dirty, they should be cleaned using a detergent and water prior to disinfection. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions for all cleaning and disinfection products. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after going to the bathroom, before eating, and after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. If soap and water are not readily available, use a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Always wash your hands with soap and water if your hands are visibly dirty. Choose a room in your home that can be used to separate sick household members from those who are healthy. Identify a separate bathroom for the sick person to use if possible. Plan to clean these rooms as needed when someone is sick. Protect yourself and others by Staying home when you are sick with COVID-19 symptoms, which may include fever, cough, and difficulty breathing. Keeping away from others who are sick. Limiting close contact with others as much as possible, about six feet. Stay informed about the local COVID-19 situation. Get up-to-date information about local COVID-19 activity from public health officials. Stay home if you are sick. Stay home if you have COVID-19 symptoms. Continue practicing everyday preventive actions. Cover coughs and sneezes with a tissue and wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not available, use a hand sanitizer that contains 60% alcohol. Clean frequently touched surfaces and objects daily using a regular household detergent and water. Use the separate room and bathroom you prepared for sick household members if possible. Avoid sharing personal items like food and drinks. Provide your sick household member with clean, disposable face masks to wear at home, if available, to help prevent spreading COVID-19 to others. Clean the sick room and bathroom as needed to avoid unnecessary contact with the sick person. If surfaces are dirty, they should be cleaned using a detergent and water prior to disinfection. 
Always follow the manufacturer's instructions for all cleaning and disinfection products. Stay in touch with others by phone or email. If you live alone and become sick during a COVID-19 outbreak, you may need help. If you have a chronic medical condition and live alone, ask family, friends, and healthcare providers to check on you during an outbreak. Stay in touch with family and friends with chronic medical conditions. Take care of the emotional health of your household members. Outbreaks can be stressful for adults and children. Children respond differently to stressful situations than adults. Talk with your children about the outbreak, try to stay calm, and reassure them that they are safe. Discourage children and teens from gathering in other public places while school is dismissed to help slow the spread of COVID-19 in the community. Remember, a COVID-19 outbreak could last a long time. The impact on individuals, households, and communities might be great. When public health officials determine the outbreak has ended in your community, take time to improve your household's plan. Discuss and note lessons learned. Were your COVID-19 preparedness actions effective at home, school, and work? Talk about problems found in your plan and effective solutions. Identify additional resources needed for you and your household. Make time to unwind and remind yourself that strong feelings will fade. Take breaks from watching, reading, or listening to news stories about COVID-19. Connect with family and friends. Share your concerns and how you are feeling with others. Help your child or children cope after the outbreak. Provide children with opportunities to talk about what they went through or what they think about it. Encourage them to share concerns and ask questions. Because parents, teachers, and other adults see children in different situations, it is important for them to work together to share information about how each child is coping after the outbreak. The coronavirus should be taken seriously. By ensuring that you understand actions you should take before, during, and after an outbreak occurs, you are taking actions to keep you and your family safe.